Hi, everybody. It's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. All right. I just did Aries. So I'm going to throw that out. <laughs> well, I'm not going to throw it out. I'm just going to set it aside for next round. But I'm trying not to look. There it is. Okay. I have no idea who's next. I really have no clue. I shuffled the 10 Zodiacs between Aries and Pisces, and they're just in a random pile sitting here. I have no idea who's next. The universe predetermined that already, so Sagittarius, okay. <laughs> I'll read a little bit more fire tonight before I go to bed. Okay. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for April 2021, if it resonates with you. All right. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with a message given by the cards. You can choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the fire sign table. table. Everybody is always welcome at my table. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for coming to hang out today. All right. Before I uh, invoke the cards and ask the guides to come hang out, two quick things. One, never, ever make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It is bad. Just, it's, it's bad mojo. Just don't do it. It's a horrible idea. And I don't like giving people horrible ideas. Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you at all in any way, shape, or form, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not your story. I can't tell the story for every single person of the sign I'm reading every time because that is metaphysically impossible. I'm not that cool. So it's not your story. It's not your story. Not every Sagittarius is going to be wearing the same pair of leopard print boots and walking down the same catwalk every time, okay? Because <laughs> you know how sad you know you like the leopard print. You know you do. I know I do. Anyway. Heavenly Father, Mother of Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. Let's bring Sagittarius to their highest possible spiritual good and set them on their highest possible spiritual path. Sagittarius, why are you here? Three pentacles reversed. Ooh, that's a shaky foundation. That didn't come together. I don't think that ended well. I, I, I don't think it's something that started to have to end. I don't think it got up off the ground. Okay, well... Well, all right. Um, I'm not doing the usual three, three, three. I'm going to do a five card movie spread. Hopefully I won't put you to sleep that way. We're just trying something new since it's a new Zodiac year and I got this cool new backdrop and you know, just doing something new. We'll see if I keep doing it. Okay past eight of wands quick messages fast moving fast communication fast talker possibly we'll get a clarifier things went quickly I'm hearing it went quickly okay three of cups that's two threes you know how I feel when two, when the second three hits my board. If you've been hanging out watching the channel for a while, you know how that second three just weirds me out. I'm going to throw a clarifier on it before I speak anymore. It could mean joyfulness and togetherness. It... It's not the vibe I'm getting. I'm sorry. I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't sugarcoat it. 
I don't make it into something it's not, I'm not catching a happy vibe off that card. And as some readers will divulge, the second three may mean a third party situation. Third party doesn't necessarily mean somebody got cheated on. It may just mean that there's um, a, a person or situation outside of the connection sticking its nose in where it don't belong. So we'll just see what the rest of the cards have to say. Fast forward to the present, Ace of Wands. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. King of Wands. Oh, well, that went quick. Mm -hmm. Well, projected future. Seven of Cups reversed. Yeah. I had a feeling something like that was going to happen. Sagittarius, what the heck's going on? Sagittarius, what the heck's going on? Scoot you over a little bit. All right. Heavenly mm. Father, Mother, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any clarification you have for the cards in the table for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2021, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2021. I just keep hearing that went quick. Mmm. Table foundation. Things moving fast. That second three. Confusion at the end. Okay. Five of Pentacles. I don't like that Five of Pentacles at all. Is this like a seasonal thing? Did the Pentacles hang on to the tree for dear life through the winter? How cold did it get? I mean, there was no stable foundation there. So how did, did the Pentacles make it through the winter? I'm just curious. I don't know. This is, this is crazy. Can I get one more on that, please? Why the Five of Pentacles? Page of Cups reversed. Oh, that would, that, yeah, that would lead to that for sure. Hmm. Five of Pentacles is there because the Page of Cups is reversed and nobody's talking. Y'all are in separation. Who's not talking to who? That that that's that's another big question. Hmm. 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 Okay. Why is Eight of Wands here? How'd you land? Hello. Hi. Queen of Cups reversed. There's no emotion there. Or one of you had feelings and the other one didn't. I mean, there's feelings and there's feelings. There's feelings and there's feelings. There's no emotion. 
fast talk and fast communication. Things moving very quickly. Or someone was emotionally closed off. Eight of Wands upright. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm hearing, let's just get this over with. Wow. Sag, come on. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Five of Swords. Mmm. At least it's in the upright. If it was in the reverse, I'd be even more upset. Oh boy. Four pentacles reversed. There was three people involved in this, wasn't there? And I think you found out on the back end, for some of you, if this is your reading. I don't think that was a part of the initial Eight of Wands conversation. And I think you still hold on to how that made you feel. I think you, uh, I'll say you walked off the battlefield on the higher end of things. I don't think you walked away with your tail between your legs. I think they may have. I don't think you did. All right, what about this Ace of Wands for the present energy? What's up with this Ace of Wands? This is something new. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, wow. These, however, are conflicting energies. I mean, they are. The Wands are like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do this. Raring to go, yeah. And the Pentacles are like, we need to slow down and take things easy. And be smart about this. This is very conflicting energy. It has the potential to be abundant and passionate and amazing. <clears throat> but it's like the transmission slipping. Four of Swords reversed. I don't think you took enough chill time. Sagittarius. Are you the one who's like, let's go, let's go, let's go, and they're like, no, we gotta take this slow? You may want to listen because that Four of Swords reverse says to me you did not take enough chill time after whatever the heck this was. You haven't released this yet. I don't think you have. Because those pentacles are still hanging on to that tree. And you're still hanging on to these four pentacles right here. And that's how that made you feel. 
I don't think there was closure here. Hmm. Why is the King of Wands here? Eight of Pentacles. I want what I want, what I want it now. We need to work on things. We need to invest time and energy. But I want what I want, and I want it now. There's conflicting energies out the wazoo here. Four of Cups. And that's leave you contemplating what is in this cup. Do I want what is in this cup? And this is why they want to take it slow. Maybe they're the one in the contemplation what's in the cup. But I think it's you, Sag. I think it's you. Because you've dealt with three cups before. This may well have been the person you're dealing with situation. Could be. But I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know for 100% sure. The messages are mixed. But there's hesitation here. They could have had their heart ripped out and splattered all over hell. And that's why they're hesitating. But I think it was you. Sag, it happens. It's okay. It's okay to sit in contemplation. It's okay to have that rest time. You don't always have to be like, go, 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 get it done. Why is the Seven of Cups here for the future? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups reversed here? Five of Cups. Six of Swords. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. No. This hit the floor before I saw this. Sag, I love you. I do. I am a Sagittarius, so I can say this. I know how we get. We aren't ones for just letting the current take us anywhere. We're really not. We always have to be in control of that flow. You can't control the flow this time. If you try to fight the flow at which things are going, it will blow up in your face. You don't have to be in such a big hurry. It's okay to just sit in the boat and enjoy the ride. It's okay. It's okay to just see where the river is going to lead you. It's okay. And it's okay to process emotions because that's something else we are horrible at. We tuck it down and we tuck it down and we tuck it down and we tuck it down until we're one of those Looney Tunes powder kegs that's just, you know, that big around and there's the, the boards are splitting and there's powder going all over and that, that, mm -mm, that wick is about that long. And one little thing touches it off and everything goes to heck in a handbasket. 
that is a powder keg full of unprocessed emotions. And that is something I think a lot of my Sagittarians friends struggle with. I know I have struggled with it. You have to process the emotions or you will be on a merry-go-round. Why don't my relationships ever work out? Because you get yourself in the mindset that this relationship isn't going to work out. Why is it always like the last time? Because you put yourself in the mindset that it's like the last time. If you manifest crap, you're going to get crap. Sorry, this is the way it is. Let's get some advice for you, friends. The moon and the six of swords. Didn't I just say this? Didn't I just say this? Sometimes you just need to sit in the damn boat and enjoy the ride. You don't need to know where the boat's going to go. You know, for being so impulsive, you make a lot of plans. <laughs> just enjoy the ride. It, it could have something to do with the phases of the moon, too. Like when this is all going to play out. It could be the April full moon. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It'll be interesting to see. Hmm. Well, reversed in the Queen of Wands, friends. Don't. Don't allow old cycles to steal your self-worth. Don't allow old cycles to steal your fire. You need to allow those old cycles to close out. Or they will continue to steal your fire. One more. King of Cups and the Hermit. That is profound. Wow. It is okay to allow yourself to be loved. You are worthy of love. And love can be very healing. Sometimes you have to let people in. Because if you spend all that time sheltering yourself to keep the bad stuff out, the good stuff can't come in. saying. All right, gang. I've had a long day. And I'm going to have a very short night because I have to get up and go to the bread and butter job very early in the morning. So I will continue with April readings tomorrow when I get home from the bread and butter job and Tuesday when I don't have to be at the bread and butter job. But enjoy the rest of your April Sagittarius. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your patience. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you next time.